Asun Mahaki here, back again with another review. Today, it's about my two one-handed keyboards branded as Mage G. Long story short, I changed my mind buying a noisy blue tactile switch, so I bought a membrane keyboard. On my left side is called the Mage G TS31, while on my right side, this is the Mage G MK Axe. The difference between the two is pretty obvious. As I said earlier, the other one is just a normal membrane keyboard, while the other one is a mechanical blue switch keyboard. I'll help you which one to choose in this video and the reason why I think I would recommend this than the other. Let's start with price. The original price for these two are quite expensive, but if you wait for any events online, you can get this half or less than the original price. Both comes with a nice box, but the S31 doesn't include any papers or manual inside for commands and stuff unlike the MKX here. Size comparison, they are the same, a little height difference, but both fits in your desk for extra space. Uh, the weight is just a normal or average weight of a keyboard, but it's not lightweight, it's not heavy. The lights on both keyboards are bright, the mechanical keyboard has a RGB with light sequences and adjustable brightness, you can also toggle it on or off, while the membrane keyboard has a gradient RGB light effects is limited to blinking and still light, you can also turn it on or off. A cool thing is that the letters, numbers, and symbols from the mechanical keyboard can be seen clearly as the light passes through, while the membrane keyboard only does these extra lights at the sides. Now for the gaming experience. I personally like the membrane keyboard than the mechanical one. I had the mechanical keyboard for a long time and I got annoyed at the sound it makes. It's very loud to be honest. These are blue switches inside, not hot swappable, and lubing this needs patience and dedication if you're not planning to desolder any. I lube this with Crytox using a thin brush individually and I guess it helps with the sound but not completely. Another thing is that I felt I need to press it with a little effort than the membrane keyboard. It feels heavy when gaming after getting used to membrane keyboard. Honestly, it's satisfying to hear each time I press on those keys, but I think it's not that smooth and I also felt the registering time for a key is longer than the membrane keyboard. I'm not a keyboard expert here, but I've had watched other videos about keyboards. But if you are used to mechanical keyboards, especially those loud switches, pick the MKX. But if you want a quiet and smooth keyboard, pick the TS31 and lube it with Crytox to be able to get that smoothness and quiet sound. Because out of the box, it sounds scratchy and loose, so I lubed it and I felt the difference instantly. Plus, I enjoyed lubing this keyboard. If you're subscribed to my channel, I mainly review items and the most popular one are the converters. These one-handed keyboards are mostly bundled with these converters and if you ask me, I'll recommend TS31 all the way. My dedicated self saw a couple of brands that uses the same design as the Meiji TS31. You can see their similarities in some ways that I guess is just rebranded, but nonetheless, they have the same price. I'll link these keyboards as well as the rebranded versions in the description and if you're into converters, I'll also link the bundles in the lowest price I've seen online. So you'll get the best price and possibly the cheapest offer out there. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!